Hello and welcome to the Sunday preview rundown that I did not think we were going to be doing. Nope. We all thought that today was going to be, hey, we'll see you at Adepticon, but no, no, the the GW train has no brakes. <laughs> it can't even slow down for the most important minis convention of the year. <laughs> yeah, the, the guys that are going to Adepticon are not the guys that did the schedule. <laughs> <laughs> we'll all walk together when we go. I don't know the song. It's all, we'll all go together when we go. Anyway, it's about nuclear warfare. This is not. This is not. So there are two releases, one of which I could not be less interested in, and one of which is a targeted against me personally. Yes. We'll start with the former. Old World, part three. Yeah, the Orcs and Goblins release. Or part two, if you consider Bretonians and uh, Two would Kings say, part one. I would say three. Okay. So the third faction for Old World. Yeah. Now, they've already released that the list of all the factions that are going to get full re-releases and those that aren't. Mm -hmm. I was not expecting this this soon. Yeah, they did announce that Orcs was next, but yeah, I did not expect it. Before Adapticon, especially. So, kind of like <clears throat> Bretonians and Tomb Kings, Wave 1 is all re-releases mm -hmm. with a couple recasts. Yeah. Because there's a couple things. So, the Orcs and Goblin Tribes Battalion, this is like your, this is your army box, basically. Mm -hmm. 31 Orc Boys. 31. Ugh, Warhammer was weird. <laughs> 40 Goblins. 40... Orc board chariots and a bunch of new transfer sheets. Cool, for their for their banners and such. These are plastic. Yeah. So this is all plastic. Yep. Old old school plastic stuff. Not plastic is this black orc big boss. He's four tool resin and he looks really good. This model holds up. Is this is this not new? Is this a is this a remake or is this? No, this is new. Imposing new character. character in class. Okay, 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 so this is the equivalent of... Uh, so he doesn't hold up. He's just cool. He's just he's just good. <laughs> well, I mean, he holds up from the five minutes that I learned about him. That's true. So, great new character. You can tell now that I look at it. It's like, wow, this was really good. It must have been late. No, this is just a brand new sculpt. I mean, if they release that in, in Sigmar, I'm, I'm, would, sure, I'm sure people will use it in Sigmar. Yep. Because that looks good. But he is resin. He is resin. So. Which is a downside. <laughs> 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 he has an underbite and a pot belly. How to train your wyvern. Uh, yeah, this is the orc bus on wyvern. Uh, for those of you who were Total War Warhammer players, he was in the trailer, the original trailer did for the, Total War Warhammer. Did the wyvern look this bad? No. <laughs> <laughs> Looked about 18 times better. He uh, ate a celestial mage and then got dunked on by Deathclaw. Cool. Um... <laughs> I love that he's basically the same size as the orc on his back. Now, to be fair, this was previously a metal model. Uh huh. He's resin now. Uh huh. But if you remember, he was metal, those proportions, and that squatness makes sense. That's true. You can't have nice, cool dragons in metal. It does not work. <laughs> I don't know. The dark elf dragons looked okay. The wings are plastic, apparently. Yeah, that's fair. I, I'm not getting this. <laughs> oh, I. It, Josh. <laughs> of course not. <laughs> You don't like orcs, let alone this. Uh, and then we go on to our troll hag, who's beautiful. She's rich. She's got huge tracts of land, <laughs> which are swamps. I was going to say ears. Uh, yeah, this is a... Uh... So this one uh, is upsets greatly our uh, friend of the show, the show Sean, mm -hmm. who is a orcs and goblins player. He was an old Warhammer fantasy, and he is an Age of Sigmar. Mm -hmm. Because this was... For a long time, available to the Gets, the Gloomspite Gets, yep. on the Forge World store. And then they took it off. And now they're re-releasing it. Yep, just for Old World. Forge World Resin, not getting re-rules in Age of Sigmar. Holds up well. I mean, it's a decent sculpt because it's not that old. Yeah. It's going to be more expensive than it was when they pulled it off. Oh, my God. And that's got to that's gotta be, what, a, like a 50 mil? Yep. Mil? Yep. That's going to be expensive. Orc and Night Goblin Command sets. These were also originally on the Forge World for uh, Gloom Spike Gets before yeah. they were pulled off and then put back. So I'm seeing with some of these re-releases how Forge World used to be the premium. Mm -hmm. Because the, even the old re-sculpts of the Forge World stuff looks really good. Compared to the old plastic. Compared to the old plastic. Yes. But now plastic has surpassed Forge World in their like, Now detail. Forge World is just the we don't want to pay yeah. to put that into thermoplastic. <laughs> right. Which kind of sucks. Because these, these don't look bad. No, these all hold up. Well, these don't. Those these don't. are in plastic. Yeah, the, the, <laughs> that answers that. And they're old plastic. These are also delayed in the United States. Yeah. 
Oh, these ones are delayed in the U.S. Oh, yeah. okay. All of the orcs are delayed in China? Japan. Japan. Yeah. And then... <laughs> oh, my God. The classic... So you thought the last ones looked old. <laughs> these are racist, but I don't know how. I just know that they are. <laughs> somehow. Yep. But not as bad as these guys. Classic goblins in plastic and metal. I mean, these are, I will give them this, very classic. They are very classic. You can you can tell that a lot of, like, personality... Strangely, a lot of personality in these. There is, because that was from when you had to sculpt these massively overdone features to yeah. get them across as being... But, the, but then you look at some of the, like, old humans, and they don't have that. No, <laughs> the they look, don't. I love the severed head there. Look <laughs> at the look on his face. <laughs> he looks like he still knows what's going on. Oh, the, darn. The, the goblins with masks... Those are great. The Phantom of the <laughs> Goblin is here. Yeah. Witness me. Those, oh my god. Why is it always the mount that looks way worse? Because they're old plastic. Because the wolves are plastic and everyone else is metal. Wow. Also has plastic wheels. And a selection of paper banners. Oh, that's old school. <laughs> that's how you know. Paper banners. Hmm. Classic orc and goblin gubbins in metal. Hey, here's your ogren for a feudal world. <laughs> yeah. They're a again, probably racist somewhere. <laughs> wow, those look god awful. The problem is, is that for all of these, mm -hmm. or many of these, there are new Age of Sigmar kits, which are much closer in their reimaginings than yeah. like a lot of other factions. That's true. Like Cities of Sigmar does not match Bretonia. Right. Or old empire anymore. They've moved on. But the goblins and orcs haven't as much. Right. Like, I mean, this is this does this is cool. Uh, I do like. And this, of course, is a classic. The yeah, Doom Diver. But why would you use these when the new Tragus are basically the same? They yeah. look so much better. That's probably I, just my opinion. That's that's gonna be for like the old school. I played way back when, and I, I need to fill out my now, unit kind of thing. The problem is these are all in metal. So that's a hundred bucks. Oh yeah, easily. And then we get giants. God, I hate that model. These are resin. I like the guy cowering here. Yep, best part about him. Uh, it's big, cause that's a what fifty by a hundred. That's yeah. like a cavalry base. Dude is tall. One of the largest miniatures in the old world. But he doesn't look good. Nope. He looks like you just upset your uncle at the thanksgiving meal and he's i don't know picked up his spoon and he's gonna get you with it <laughs> your thanksgivings must be terrifying yeah yeah they are and of course it wouldn't be a warhammer game if we didn't put half of these models in a different book that you had to buy in this case the arcane journal orc and goblin tribes yeah it's... because they released the rules for free yeah well no no, no not for orcs and goblins not for they're, in, and they're oh. in the book that already came out oh they're in the book that already came out yeah. right the rabbiting hordes are but right. not all of them not all of them some of them are in here <sighs> such a shame yeah arcane journals i don't understand them i do sell more books i mean yeah fair and then you've got your requisite tribes your christmas dice, dice. and yeah those aren't very good and cards if they were just like green with white pips that would be fine if but it was a less they saturated <laughs> green yeah but and why are they red i don't get that because then they would just be they even put them in the old tubes it's like they know yeah they do and yet that's not enough it is not enough so we've got the next Horus heresy campaign book the battle for beta garmin isn't that a Digimon? <laughs> Beta Garmon. Probably. It's a campaign supplement. New rules for the new Solar Auxilia and Legions of Stardust units. Yep. Sentinels, notable personalities. Oh, so it's not like the last one where there was just like campaign missions right, and this stuff. Does this have one actually rules. has rules. Boo. Which you'll need for all of the stuff from that Solar Auxilia launch box, which just hit this last weekend. Right? Yeah. Is already coming out in plastic. Yep. I mean, it's already in plastic. It's already coming out. So you've got the inf infantry sections. You've Ooh. got the command section. And the Valeris storm section. They're basically the stormtrooper science. Yeah. With diving helmets. You're slightly more elite. We talked about these when these are all previewed. I like these models. I don't love them, but I like them. Yeah, I like them. I, if if I were to build guard right now, it would either be Death Core or these guys. Yes. They look, they look good. But then... The actual... The thing that targets me personally and myself. Malkador. The Malkador heavy tank in plastic. 
So the Malkador does have rules in 40k. It does. I would expect them to go away when Guard gets their new book because it appears that most Forge World stuff has either gone away or been reduced to really bad. It's really strange that it hasn't yet. Yeah. Because they, when they did the whole Forge World cut, they basically cut everything that wasn't Custodes or Knights. Yeah. So why did they keep the... That's weird. Maybe it's not going to go away. Maybe. I, I mean, I can dream. Um, it's a fantastic looking tank. Oh, yeah. It looks great. This, of course, is the is different than the one that was on Forge World. It is not just a replasticing of that same kit because right. it has the Solar Auxilia yeah, the... trim, for lack of a better term. <laughs> Filigree. Yeah, there you go. Filigree. I think it looks amazing. It looks really good. The Lehman Rust tanks are a little less new. That being said, if you look at a sprue comparison of these and the actual Lehman Rust tanks, it's just night and day. Yeah. The oh, detail. yeah. Again, like, if I were to pick up Guard, it would be this stuff. It looks amazing. Yes. Now, it does say numerous hull and pendle weapons. I think one thing this does not have is it will not have sponsons. Interesting. Which, in Guard right now, and in 40k, the way they do weapons, they're basically mandatory. Yeah. You're shooting yourself in the foot if you're not taking them. Right. Because you have the pendle, the... The pendle, which is either a storm bolter or a heavy bolter. Yeah. The hull gun, which is either a last cannon or a um, flamer. Yeah. And then you get multi meltles on the side, basically. I mean, there are other options, but you take multi meltles. Yeah. That's or, really weird that I guess the old school ones don't have the right. sponsons. They might have bolted them on there. It might have been because they couldn't find a way to put them on there with the trim. Dang. Or just because they recognized that it looked dumber with the sponsons. Like, it does. These look better without them. It does. Uh, same thing with the Malkador, but the Malkador does have sponsons, kind of. <laughs> it has little peepholes. Which I, I love that because it is a way to maintain this cooler profile while still having that very dorky World War One thing. Yeah, that's it's true. another reason I like the Malkadors. Mm -hmm. oh, they're so cool. And then this was in the uh, release box, the Dr Dracosin Armored Transport. Mm -hmm. This does not have any equivalent rules for 40k. You could maybe try and use it as a Rogaldorn, kind of, but probably not. Yeah, it... I mean, it has a good amount of weapons on it, so maybe... It's big. It, it's um, it's as big as a Malkador, which is wow. bigger than the Lima Russes. Yeah. So, and then... <laughs> I, I hate this so much. Now, I thought that uh, nobody in Guard was allowed to use magic to, like, hold up the size of this thing. <laughs> uh, well, think about it. The legs go all the way up to here. They don't just attach here. I know. Like, this does work physically. It's just really dumb looking to me. I don't mind it. So, if it was between this and the previous Sentinel, I like this. I like the previous Sentinel better than this. I know you do. Uh, <laughs> but from this to the new Sentinel, I like the new Sentinel better. Yeah, uh, clearly. I also like the new Sentinel better than this. But, man, I do not like this. <laughs> this was also in the uh, launch box. Yeah, I don't like the... For some reason, the rotary Laz... This thing? Yeah, the, whatever that is up top. I just never like how that looks. It never looks great. It's also bad in game. Yeah, it is. At least in 40k. And some trades for sheets. Cool. And finally, fabulous! Is this a hint at what the new codec is? Dun, dun, dun. And that's it for next week. So, God help you if you're somebody who likes both of this releases because your wallet just got shot. God help you if you like any of this and you're at Adepticon. Right, that's my problem. Because <laughs> I want some of those tanks, but I'll be at Adepticon. Yep. Speaking of which, if you're coming to Adepticon, come find me and get absolutely nothing for free except a handshake. I mean, my face is in this video, so you have no idea what I look like either, which is funny. Don't look at any other. Wait, do look at our other videos to find out what Josh looks like. Follow the melodious sound of my voice. <laughs> anyway, uh, I was not expecting this this week. No, I wasn't expecting a release, let alone two no. new releases back, basically. Now, this will be a two week pre order period. It mm. says the usual, by the way. That's a lie, Games Workshop. You have not been consistent. Don't play that game with me. <laughs> They've been pretty consistent, I guess. But it's two weeks. So you have two weeks. You do have the week after Depticon. Yeah, but make sure nothing sells out. Which it will. Which it will. Especially some of the old world stuff. So let us know below if you're getting any of this. I'm personally going to be getting at least three Malkadors. At least three Malkadors? And I think eight Lehman Presses. <laughs> yeah, that should that should do me. That should that should that should you know. For now. For now. And none of those weird green skins. Yeah, that's fair. If I were to get any of it, like with unlimited funds, I would get a guard army because I like the you know all tank aesthetic um and the god those tanks look so good they look so good but yeah um i am personally not interested right now unless i win the lottery in the next week so well if you win the lottery you can buy my eight tanks oh uh, yeah i will <laughs> until next time Bye bye